In this video, I am making sorrel cranberry cooler. I am using one and a half pounds of dark red sorrel. You can use any one, but I just rather the dark red sorrel. And I am putting the sorrel into a food processor. You can always use a blender if you don't have a food processor, but you will have to put water in the blender. Just put pour enough water to cover the sorrel and then blend until well smooth. And you can blend in steps because I did blend in steps. So when when I um, blend the sorrel instead of you know put it into warm water and dry it as we say in Jamaica, when you when I blend it, the consistency is very thick and syrupy, and I like that. That's why I mostly blend it, and I am urging you to blend your sorrel. Because the consistency is nice it is so smooth and I did upload it a video and call it sorrel syrup so you can check it out because I'm not gonna go into much details with this video because it's you know it's basically the same thing so yes so I pour into a container now I am gonna add enough water well, I'm not going to add a lot of water because I don't want the sorrel to long, get long, as we say in Jamaica, because it will taste insipid. So I added about, that is about what, about two cups of water, right? Yeah. And I'm going to give it a good stir and then cover with a piece of foil paper and uh, allow it to soak for about two, four hours. After four hours, I remove the foil paper. Now I'm gonna strain the mixture. I strain it twice using a strainer, and then I strain it once using a clean kitchen towel. So look at the consistency. I just love it. It is so thick and rich. The consistency is very rich and thick. Two cups of water can be added to it. However, I am going to use cranberry juice instead of water. So I'm adding one bottle of cranberry juice and more can be added if I wanted to, but it depends on the thickness and the richness, how I want it. Yeah, but more can be added if I wanted to. Um, it is still thick. I'm telling you, blending the sorrel is like the best thing. And this combination of cranberry juice and the sorrel <laughs> is so nice. So I am using granulated sugar to sweeten the sorrel because the cranberry juice is not sweet. And the don't know so the sorrel is not sweet. So after sweetening the sorrel, I'm going to add the juice of one lime. Just to give it a kick. It is so nice. The lime juice. Oh, so refreshing man. And if you feel rummish. You can add just a little bit of white rum. But I don't want alcohol in my one. You see me? Yeah man. But you can add just a little bit of white rum. You're not going to add it, a lot of white rum to overpower the drink. Right? Just a little bit if you feel rummish. Yeah man. Sorrel cranberry cooler. I use sorrel, cranberry juice, piece of ginger root, and then sweeten with granulated sugar. And then I added the juice of one lime. That's totally it. This drink is so refreshing. Put it on your holiday must try list. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.